All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. We have Tara McKeown and Trinity Rodman. Jason, go ahead and kick us off. Uh, thanks, Sam. Uh, hello to you both. Uh, Jason Anderson, Pro Soccer Wire USA Today. Uh, I, for, I remembered this time to say it. Um, Thank uh, thanks for speaking to us today. Um, I wanted to start by just asking, um, obviously, there's been so much change this offseason. How have things been since you've set up in California and sort of, I think we're two, three weeks into preseason now? <laughs> yeah, I guess. yeah, I can go. Um, I think, yeah, as you said it, there's just a lot of change staff wise, coaching, technical staff, yeah. players in general. Um, there's obviously a lot more youth. I thought our team was young before and it's even younger now. So um, I think since we've been in preseason, it's kind of just getting into the flow, um, really getting to know people and getting on that routine again after not being on it for a while. So, so far it's been really good. And as, as a kind of a second question here, um, I'm kind of curious, uh, you mentioned Trinity that they're, the team has gotten younger. Um, I know you're not very far into your, either of your careers, but are you now starting to feel like uh, quote unquote veterans? Do you feel like that's a, a mantle to take up or is that still, um, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. It, do you feel that way about it at this point? I think veteran is like tough yeah. like we're still no, like okay. the immature like crazy girls that we are but like I think I think there's definitely more of a leadership role for both of us um we've already noticed the us being more vocal in trainings um and just kind of trying to hold the standard with um the presence that we did lose in leadership so um veterans I don't think I'll call myself that for a while. Um, but leadership role for sure, I think, has gotten a lot more. I I would agree. <laughs> there you go. Th th thanks, Tara. We'll, we'll have one for you later. I'll pass the mic here. <laughs> Audrey, go ahead. Hello. Thanks for uh, speaking with us. Um. Trinity, I just kind of had a question about your game kind of ever since you came into the NWSL, we've kind of like seen you continue to develop and grow your game almost seem like year to year. Is there anything this off season that you focused on or something that you want to fo focus on in preseason? Um, yeah, I think it's always tough, like finding specific things to work on during off season. Cause you kind of just want to like play and work on everything. But I think for me, the biggest thing was, uh, my movement off the ball, I think, has been something that I've been really trying to focus on and not only creating that space for myself, but also moving so that I can create that space for Hatch or Ule or whoever it is up top with me this year. Um, and also just the connection with my team. I think the execution in the final third and that connection with the midfield um, forwards in the final third, I think is really important and having those relationships so that we can connect and create more dangerous chances and score more goals is really important. Appreciate that. And uh, Tara, I had a question for you because last year, your first year as a center back, late last season, I think you told us that you finally reflexively referred to yourself as a center back. So year two going in as a center back, how do you feel? Yeah, I'm definitely more used to it. People ask me what my position is now and I say center back, maybe so reluctantly a little bit, but <laughs> I definitely am more used to it. And I do enjoy playing back there, especially with the coaching I got last year and being just comfortable on the field with my teammates around me. So yeah, I do like it. <laughs> so one question I wanted on the follow up and then I'll, I'll pass the mic to others, but just wanted to know, like last season, I'm sure it was a bit of a whirlwind learning a brand new position. I mean, swapping into the pitch is kind of wild. So kudos to you on doing that. Um, but now that you've had time to kind of like go through that process and kind of look ahead to year two, uh, what did you learn and what have you been kind of focusing on in advance of this season? Yeah, um, I think a lot of what I want to work on throughout this year and like just get better is my communication on and off the ball, like helping my team know like where they need to go because now I feel like I know more too. And then 
just for myself, like being able to complete forward passes more and like keeping those percentages up with like attacking balls instead of just maybe around the back. Um, yeah. And just keep working on like defending one V one and in those situations, defending crosses, I think that's where I was probably pretty good last year, but I want to keep that also high. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stella, go ahead. Hey guys, thanks for uh, being here and chatting with us today. Um, for both of you, what was your reaction to the news that John Harald is come, like, going to eventually take over this team and what excites you about what he can bring to this club? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a shock. Um, I think in all teams, when you're in off season, you're kind of out of the loop. You kind of disconnect from everything. So finding that out, I think, was extremely exciting just because the unknown was finally known and we didn't have that question or concern about, like, what the heck does this year look like again with a new coach? So um, finally just getting that news, I think, was awesome for all of us. And for Spirit, I think everyone – Michelle, Mark, everyone wants the winning mentality and not just to say it, but to have the results and to have the proof of a winning team and a team that progresses each and every year. Um, so I think that's kind of the biggest thing with him joining us is to create that standard for Washington Spirit and to get us to not just keep saying that like we are a winning team when we haven't shown that and actually like putting up the numbers and the results. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> and then just a quick follow. Um, Trinity, you had a really nice post after Ashley moved to North Carolina. It was obviously these tough trades happen in sports, but I was wondering if you could speak on that connection and how it I guess it'll continue now, even though you guys are in different places. Uh, yeah. Um <laughs> I'm not gonna like obviously in sports trades happen. Um some like some you know, some you don't. So I think um, for the team and for our relationship in general, I think me, Tara, and Ash were very close. But um, yeah, it was tough. <laughs> I mean, you create such a friendship with somebody, and I think in soccer it's even stronger because you are forced to be with them twenty four seven. Um, ugh, why am I getting emotional? Anyway, um, I mean, me and Ash will always be close. We talk all the time. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been tough. And again, that's like kind of a safety support blanket I obviously still have that with some players here and I'm excited to like grow that more but yeah her leaving was tough but I'm excited for her and excited for this team and everything happens for a reason so I can't complain thanks I appreciate that John go ahead thanks uh thanks for, for joining us uh sort of follow up on that Trinity I think that obviously we've talked about the off the field connection and friendship you guys had I think also on the field, you guys had a really, really strong connection. If you just look at passing maps, you guys were, uh, you guys were beating each other the ball frequently. Um, obviously, there's lots of change, new coaches, new formations. Probably you've got a new right back that will probably over be overlapping with you uh, as you go forward. What what are you looking for this year as far as trying to strengthen that on field connection with either with with a, with someone that's new? Have you seen? Is it probably too early in camp? But have you seen any of that sort of start to develop that understanding uh, between someone else? Yeah, I mean, I think the rookies coming in and Casey and Brittany, um, I mean, in week one, me and Tara have been talking about how impressive it is, how much the connection's there already. It's kind of wild to see. But yeah, so far, I think communication has been really open. And I think having a younger team makes the environment a little bit easier and a little bit more welcoming, um, not as intimidating. So I think the relationships that we're building very quickly is really good and on the field. I do believe that it's been there. Um, obviously, we've been intermixing in trainings and stuff, so it's hard to say who and what position. Like, we kind of don't really have a gauge for that. But so far, I think the coachability and connections and communication has been really, really good. And one more follow-up from the, the coaching question. I think, obviously, in both of your careers, change is the only constant that you've experienced uh, from you know every possible way that you can define that. But now you have a new coach coming in on a three-year deal. You have sort of a, a common a voice direction that you want to go in. Uh, obviously, the, the the play style will be implemented as we go along here, particularly as he joins. But how much are you guys looking forward to some level of continuity from year to year? From this point on, you know, through these next three years, knowing 
hopefully who your coach is going to be knowing hopefully what the style of play and your formations that you can expect to play. Are you guys looking forward to hopefully establishing that going forward? That's to both of you. Yeah. Like, as you said, <clears throat> we've had new coaches probably every year and two or three within that year sometimes. <laughs> so just to be able to have someone who is constant and we will be able to know their style, they'll be able to see the team and know like what style we're able to play. I think going forward, that will just help the spirit grow and hopefully create that winning mentality that Trin was saying. Peyton, go ahead. Hi, Trin. Hi, Tara. Thank you both for your time today. Um, I was just curious, I don't know how much you guys have looked at the schedule, thought about the schedule, but having two new teams come in, how you feel about that, and then you guys get to play them both back to back right at the beginning of the season opening up with like your home opener and the following week um if you guys have thought about that at all if you have any feelings about that excitement what have you and kind of what you're thinking about yeah the just the two expansion teams and getting to have that new opposition um i think it's great i like i it's awesome i love that nwsl is expanding the more teams we play the more we're being challenged so i think I'm very excited and I'm honestly really happy that we get to play them earlier just to kind of get a feel for it because obviously new team you have no idea what to expect new players um, new coaches everything so um, I guess it's like the unknown of that is exciting and to be able to get that exposure and to kind of adapt to that in the very beginning I think will set us up for um, a really good season. And I'm excited about another California team. As <laughs> since I'm from California, those are easy for my parents to go to. Oh, that's a good point. Thank you. Back to Jason. Uh, Tara, I did want to ask um, with the, <laughs> I promised there would be one for you. Um, with the leadership change at the top, with, with the coaching change and everything, obviously last year, uh, Mark had you as part of the, leadership committee I don't know the exact language but it was kind of a group of players that were in that position um has the team revised that or have they have you had a chance to really get a a picture of what that looks like for this year yeah we haven't really gone over or revised that this year yet um I think like Trin was saying there's a lot of young players on the team so it's kind of like we just got stepped into that role and like stepping up to make sure that the culture and the mentality of the team is going in the direction that I guess the returning players want. And so going forward, I'm sure that we'll discuss that more. But yeah, as of right now, I think it's just trying to get through preseason all as one unit and just having a good culture and mentality going into the season. And then this one's for both of you. Um, obviously, there's a pretty substantial playing style change um, underway. Um, I'm curious how that has affected. Um, I, I know from last week that it's kind of still early days as far as the real specifics, but um, how have you felt in terms of the broad principles that are being brought in for this year? I think um, just going from... I mean, even from like our rookie season, we've changed the style of play so much. Like I think 2021, it was like who could get the most passes, but what are we doing with the passes? And then it moved to like very direct play. Let's go back and forth and just win the most balls. And then it was like, let's go through the middle. So I think, yeah, the change is definitely different, but I mean, so far, I think the focus for our team is again, those connections. And I think a huge thing for us, we've proven that we're very good at playing direct. I think we have the personnel for that um, and the speed and all of that. So I think a focus for us is the technicality piece and the ability to play in tight spaces without getting overwhelmed or without turning the ball over in dangerous areas. I think that's really important for us and our midfield, especially. I think the movement and interchange between them um, we've already worked on. And again, just the quick play and like being comfortable under pressure, I think is the confidence that we're trying to embed in the rookies and even us. Appreciate it. Thanks. And Andre, wrap us up. 
Yeah, so I wanted to I basically ask the same question, but I want to piggyback off of it a little bit and say, like, with the style of play changing, is there was there any preparation when you heard who the coach was going to be? Is Was there any preparation? Did you watch any certain games or watch any particular players to kind of figure out maybe what you might be asked to do for the spirit? And that's for both of you. <laughs> I mean, I think we all, like, know his reputation and how well he's doing with Barcelona and – just watching their games and understanding like how they're able to move the ball in that league. Hopefully that implements in the NWSL, even though there might be a style changes like as a league with the league as a whole. But yeah, I think we're wanting to get to keeping the ball more, but doing something when we do keep the ball. I mean, it's Barcelona. Yeah. I mean, love like our team's awesome, but like Barcelona just is something different. So I think, yeah, I mean, it's just knowing it's Barcelona. Like, I think the immediate shift in our heads of like, okay, let's play soccer. Like, it's not about let's get this person the ball because they're fast, get this person the ball in the air because they can head it. I think it's together as a team, how can we all make each other look the best and play the best and like play to each other's strengths and not just kind of dishing a ball off to one person that can do one thing and be like, okay, do your thing. So I think that's the biggest thing. Appreciate that. And I and I have a question and I'm going to preface this by saying I'm not asking you to react to what was said because uh, we had an interview in the uh, athletic with uh, Lindsay Oran talking about funny team photos and not really liking them. So I don't not going to ask you to react to that. But just in terms of thinking about this season, do you think those photos will still happen because the, the fans seem to love them? Huh? I guess so. Yeah. We'll I'm, I'm going to say it now. We just like to have fun. and The photos are going to continue to happen. I mean, they make people smile. And at the end of the day, obviously, everyone views things differently. Like, I have, like, whatever she wants to say about it, that's like, I respect what she has to say. But I think our team, like, we're goofy. And at the end of the day, like, a picture is not going to affect the way that we present ourselves on the field and the, how hard we go out. So those are still happening. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you both. Thank you, Trent and Tara. Thank you, everybody. We will see you back in DC later this week. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Sam. Thank, Thank you. you both. Thank you.